Okay, um, hello guys. Uh, we are from the Hero Alley channel, and we are with Mr. George Lehman. And uh, now he's everyone knows him. He's a legend in the powerlifting community. So we got him here in Bangkok, Thailand, in Muscle Factory. We're gonna get some interview with him. And uh, first question, George, can you uh, introduce uh, yourself for everyone who watching the channel? My name is George Lehman. I've been lifting for 11 or 12 years now. Um, at some point, about a year or so ago, I had the heaviest um, raw deadlift in North and South America. Um, I was formerly, I guess still am, running a YouTube channel for bodybuilding and powerlifting and stuff. And um, at the moment, I'm just traveling around, still training, and uh, trying to enjoy my life and stuff. <laughs> George, um, and could you please tell us about your, your achievements in powerlifting, your best deadlift, squat, and bench press, for those who don't, who, those who don't know? Uh, let's see. In, in competition, my best deadlift was, fuck, uh, what is it, 913? Nine, nine <laughs> 420 kilos or something like that. I'm, I might be off by a couple pounds or kilos or something. Um, the heaviest I ever got on bench was uh, pausing, was 500 for three. Um, <laughs> and uh, like <laughs> and uh, when I was about 18 years old, I could squat about 750 in a belt. But um, I, I, How old was that? 18. <laughs> but uh, not a big fan of squats anymore, just because I've torn my inner thighs so many times. I currently couldn't give a shit, to be honest with you. Um, powerlifting, uh, I guess the achievement was I, I held the North and South American deadlift record, the raw one, for a while. And uh, I guess that's about it. I mean, I've done some other heavy lifts and stuff, with shoulder press and whatnot, but um, those are the powerlifting ones. Have you ever done uh, a full powerlifting meet? Or are you, is it? You know, I have, but I have. It just wasn't, like, legitimate. I, I, there was one that was they had at my gym. I don't think it was sanctioned at all. Like a mock meet. Yeah, I, and I was, like, a teenager. Okay. Yeah, I mean... Um, I never, I never wanted really to compete in powerlifting like I did, but it was only for the sake of records. It wasn't uh, like a lot of powerlifters are like sportsmen, like they want to go out and compete and they like competing with each other. For me, it wasn't about competing with other people, or even so much in competition to compete with myself because I compete with myself every time I train. Yeah. Every time I train, I try and lift more, and that was like plenty for me. But a lot of people, you know, wouldn't respect whatever lift unless I did it in competition. And if I wanted to compare myself to other people, I had to do it in competition. So at some point, I went and I, I had the heaviest deadlift for a while. And yesterday, we, we saw George do 125 kilos for 17 reps, standing military press. So that's one hell of a feat. So next question. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so next question, uh, what, what, what brought you to, to, to Asia and eventually here in Thailand? Um, when I was 20 or 21 years old, um, okay, well to start with, I was al I've always been like a big fan of, um, of like dreams and stuff and, and I always felt like you should, you should know what you want out of life. So when I was 20 or 21 years old, I started telling my parents and my brother and stuff that when I was 25, which I'm currently 25, I was going to buy a bunch of rental properties or buy a few rental properties and stocks and dividends, whatever the fuck, and not have to work anymore. And I was going to be able to travel to Asia and just do whatever I wanted. Maybe I'd keep working on the Internet, but I, I wanted to not have to when I was 25. So as it turned out, that's kind of what happened. Um, I, I bought some houses and stuff, and I was able to come here and, and kind of just screw around and not do anything. Um, but specifically what ended up happening was is... Uh, you know, I just got to a point in my life with the things that were going on where I didn't want to be in America anymore in the situation that I was in. Um, I wanted to go out and see the world. I wanted to, you know, leave behind people that, you know, I didn't want to be around anymore. And I wanted to just change my life in a, in a positive way. And what better way of doing that than going to the fucking polar opposite side of the world? Yeah, I mean, you saw your, uh, you just uploaded a video yesterday about like, the positive people about Yes, yes, yes. And I've, I've met a lot of really, really interesting people, you know, who are also happen to be traveling around the world. Apparently, it's, it's something a lot of successful people want to do. So I guess we're on the right people. Do you plan to, to eventually live here? You know, I'd really like to. I've only been here like a week and a half. But um, for, 
Yeah, in, in, <laughs> in Bangkok, my first time here, actually. Um, but this place has the same standard of living as I've seen where I'm from. Like, there's a really high standard of living here. And it's also really, really, really cheap compared to where I'm from, even though it's arguably much, much, much nicer. Like, a massage is less than $6 for an hour here. Where I'm from, it's 50 or 60 or $100. Um, and massages are important, and food is important, and food is incredibly cheap here and known around the world for being good. Um, apartments are super high quality and really cheap. Taxis are taxis are 2 or $3 to go somewhere. You know? <laughs> no, they're, they're using a meter and stuff, you know. Um, overall, it's, it's a very high-quality place to live. I can live the same standard of life, if not far higher here. So I'd, I'd like to look into living here. But first, I think I'm going to have to go around and see some shit. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, gotcha. Okay, so it's like we get to know a little bit about Josh and uh, why he's here with us. And um, we are uh, the hero athlete. We just start uh, here, a powerlifting community, strength community here. Could you give us like some word and shed some light on t- uh, for the people who are watching this one? Any message, any, yeah. um, any tips or advice you want to give to like, like a beginner like that? <laughs> up and coming lifters. Oh, okay. Um, <sighs> all right. Let's see. Where do I start with that one? Um, focus on not hurting yourself. We're, we're going to go with that being the most important thing. If, if you do all the other stuff that's necessary to get strong, as long as you don't get hurt, you'll keep getting stronger. Um, that's more valuable than anyone will ever give it credit for. What will stop you from getting stronger, what will stop you from reaching your potential, is doing something stupid and hurting yourself. Uh, once you destroy your shoulder, you're never going to you know, bench what you probably could have and maybe you'll never bench half of what you could have Uh, maybe you'll just give up the first time you do that for that matter so just focus on not getting hurt Um, probably another great piece of advice would be to train like a bodybuilder that's focused on gaining as much strength as possible don't be afraid to train in higher rep ranges and do bodybuilding assistance exercises shoulder press will help your bench sets of 10 and 20 you can get stronger on those too a lot of people say high reps aren't for strength you won't get stronger with high reps if you put 50 pounds on your set of 10 you still put 50 pounds on your set of 10 so you did get stronger um Eventually, you're going to have to peak up to a one rep max or something like that if you want to have a good one rep max. But in the meantime, you have to go from a 150-pound bench to a 450-pound bench. So whatever does that the fastest is going to be what you should be doing, and it's not necessarily practicing your singles if you bench 200 pounds. It's going from point A to point B, and that's building a a basic foundation of muscle mass through bodybuilding-oriented strength training. And also, so like the more muscle mass you have, the more strength you gain. That's that's a common. You 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 gotta carry a lot of muscle mass if you want to lift a lot of weight. There are some exceptions. Um, sometimes you don't have to weigh very much to lift a lot of weight, but that usually takes work. It usually takes work to specifically try not to weigh too much while lifting really heavy. It's not an easy thing to do. Usually, the, the strongest people weigh the most. You know, the strongest people in the world weigh 200 kilos. I'm, I'm 160 something kilos right now. Almost there, George. No, no skinny no, shop. No, no, no. Okay. 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 okay that's uh, some tips from Mr. George, and uh, we sure we're gonna have him more in uh, our next video later on. But thank you so much for today, Cap George. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.